just a quick um, video on how to set up QuickTime Player. That's what I found is the easiest way to record and send out virtual lessons. So right down here, um, or in your launch pad, this is the icon that you're looking for, QuickTime Player. Once you get here, um, in order to set up a photo of yourself on screen, what you do is go to File, you're going to do New Movie Recording. I can't select that right now because I already have it up. And then once um, this picture bar appears, you're going to go to View, and you're going to select Float on Top. And when you have that selected, it's going to allow you to have this piece overlaid on top of what you're doing. Now what I found sometimes is this sound bar won't go away. If anyone knows how to take that off, um, let me know because that would be helpful. But you can size this and make it however big and small that you want. And you can also move this um, volume bar around. So that's there, and then what I'm going to do is do new screen recording. New screen recording, you're going to select that, and then you're going to um, say it down on the bottom whether you want to record your whole screen or just a selected part of the screen. I usually do a selected part. And then that allows me just to capture um, the PowerPoint that I'm on, especially with second step. If you do a portion, then you can have over on this side another tab set up. And I like to have um, the second step script set up. And that way it's only recording your PowerPoint and you can read off of the script. Um, then when you're done, you're just going to press this button up top here. It's going to save it. Um, you can go in and rename it and save it to your drive. And then from there, you can go into YouTube um, and create a video from there. And I'll show you that really quick. So once you're in YouTube, then you just go to create and upload a video. And here's where you're going to select the file. So you've already renamed um, that one, like I did back now, fourth grade. So I would select that one, open it, um, and then it'll walk you through the steps to make that live. Once um, you've walked through those steps and you're able to get a shareable link and share that out with your class. All right, I hope that's, that helps. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me.